Now, I normally don't do this, but I saw a comment in my comment section that was so hilarious, I had to make a video about it. Somebody said, would you look at those snake tattoos all over this guy? He's the devil himself. <laughs> and uh, they were probably referring to this one, which is not a snake, but I'm gonna give you guys a second to look at it. The cool kids will know what it is. But for those of you that don't, that is not a snake. That's a coolie bird. Uh, my favorite band is the Drive-By Truckers, and uh, one of the lead singers, songwriter, guitar players in that band is uh, Mike Cooley. This is artwork from the late, great Wes Freed that was in the Big To Do album, and uh, it got dubbed the Cooley Bird. Uh, back in 2010, the Drive-By Truckers put out an album called The Big To Do, and it was right at the height of my drug use, so cue the Hunter Biden comparisons, and um, it was right at a really dark time in my life. And uh, I just sat and listened to that album on repeat till I made it through those dark times. And so that's why I went out and got the tattoo. And because of that, someone thought it was a snake. And because I guess if you have a snake tattoo, you're the devil himself. And that was pretty funny to me. I won't go into talking about the mushroom tattoo that I have over here and why I have it. But uh, you guys just try to expand your third eye real far and figure out why that I like that and why that I've saw some bats. <laughs> We're in bat country. So yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, conservatives. Have at it. <clears throat> let, let it rip. And, and go listen to the Drive-By Truckers music. Uh, listen to songs like Surrender Under Protest and what it means. Now, you can call them communists too, but at least you'll get good jams while you're doing it.